So if you want to figure out how to make your bucket look just like that while fishing on a marina, be sure to stick around and watch the whole video. <laughs> guys we just had pulled up to Riverwinds Landing uh, you know little disclaimer get permission to fish these marinas you know like most of them are privately owned it just so happens that my son actually has been working at this one for a couple weeks and he asked permission for me so and that's the only reason I'm able to get out here and shoot today's video but if you get permission boat marinas a boat ramp that has you know a bunch of pontoons on it they're always good 90 percent of the year about the only time they're not good is in the spawn so i'm gonna get out here i'm gonna show y'all how i break everything down and hopefully catch some i don't even know get out here and actually start catching these fish let's go over why a boat marina or a you know just any kind of big dock area holds fish it's mainly because there's so many places to hide and there's so much shade in reality these fish could be on any one of these slips so you've got to sit here and fish everything thoroughly and that's why today i decided to use a 164 ounce jig head with a crappy man green little minnow and I'm going to fish every pontoon boat at every angle I can get. You know, even skipping it up under it, throwing down the side of it. But I want that 164 to be able to manipulate that jig with the wind and the current to place that jig in the exact location I think the fish could be. Got a little beef to him. Nice little slabby dabby. Or as my wife says, crappy fish. <laughs> yeah. On that crappy band green. All right. Nice, probably nine and a half, ten inches. Let him go. Good eater size. Yeah, what we're doing, I mean, right, we're in the river right now. Like this marina is right off the Saluda River. And what's happening is the current is coming this way. So I'm throwing up. So this 164 is going to be in that current and it's going to stay up in the water column a lot longer than you, like if I throw to the right, it's going to be sucked right back to me. So we're just throwing in this little hole right here, giving it probably four feet of line we're getting it off the dock here maybe we are there we go get a little bit more line i'm just gonna walk it back to me and this whole little area right here i'm just letting that jig fall I'm gonna thump the crap out of it. <laughs> That's a nice one. It ain't hard once you locate them. top of the water it's pretty nice 
nice one. Probably a 10 incher. Definitely could get a meal out of here. <laughs> I caught him on the other side. Let's let him go right here. Yeah, he was probably two feet under the water. So I don't know if he followed it up or not though. So we're gonna drop it real shallow one time, see what happens. There he is. <laughs> I guess they're pretty shallow, I don't know. Two drops, two fish. Let him go out here. <laughs> oh that's too fun too fun these all keepers too i mean there ain't no giants but we're sitting on a marina this is fun Another one bites the dust. So one of the workers actually wants some of these, so I'll talk to the camera. <laughs> you probably don't want that much water. You got to carry him up that damn shit over there. Jump out. Alright. All right. So now let's fill up this bucket for the, the woman that works here. I think he said Miss Kelly or something like that. So shout out to Miss Kelly. I guess, I don't know. That one I kind of just walked it from the front to the back, but there isn't like a clear depth that they're biting at right now. Kind of just fishing, I guess you could say. That's all good. Try to get her about five or so. So we don't need about two, three more bites probably. Oh, that's a good one. 
Oh, that's a giant. Oh, mag did it right there. Oh. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, man. I'm going to take a picture of that one. Now that's a heat hole. That's probably 12 inch. Look at that sucker right there. Crappy man green and roof of his mouth. So big nasty right there now. Yeah, look at the back straps on that sucker. Add him to the bucket. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. 164 ounce crappy man jigs with a crappy man green little minnow. I'm getting it done on a marina. I mean, these fish probably ain't never seen a dang jig have their life. 